Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jimmy with Tropicana Golf and this gentleman here is Mr. Greg Osborne. Greg Osborne is the teaching pro here at Via Verde Country Club. Greg is super experienced. Greg works with hundreds if not thousands of golfers in his career. He was a hell of a golfer in your time. What's yeah. Called? In his time. I mean, all American in college. College and in his time, in his prime, he was a hell of a guy. And Greg sees a lot of things from different golfers, but he sees things repeatedly over and over and over. And I think that the general population make the same mistakes over and over and over. Absolutely, and especially some certain things. Certain things, and if you can learn from the masses and see these things in your swings, you might be able to learn something by just watching others. So Greg, I want you to give me a prime example of what the most common error that you see in the general population golf swing. You got it. The most common error that I see, other than just doing basic fundamentals, the one thing that is chronic, that affects the ball flight, affects where the ball goes, are the shoulders when they set up, setting up open, which means as he comes through, go ahead, set up, Jimmy. Okay, so in a, in a incorrect setup, the target is, down this way this is straight to my target and yes. you're saying they set up open which is here yes this is closed this is open so you see most shoulders pointing way left of yes. their target when people are having trouble where the ball's going it's mostly because or the number one problem i see is the shoulders because when the shoulder comes through this way and it's open my arm's connected so the club's going to come across the ball it's either going to come left or right. So you got a dispersion going down the fairway. So they're swinging left, left of their target. Yes. And that causes a few things. That's from starting here, swinging mm -hmm. kind of down your foot line almost. Yes. It sends the club a little bit over the top, which will shut the face or leave the field, still come over the top and leave the face wide open because when the shoulders open through impact, the arms connected, this club is going this way. Okay, let's show it this way so people can see. Okay. So hypothetically, the target is the camera. Yes. Okay, so they're setting up and their shoulders are clearly left. Open, yes. Okay, and then they take the club back. Right. And now they're either coming down this way with a shut face and swinging out here. Yes. Or they're coming down with an open face and swinging this way. Yes. And causing that thing to go a Go the other way, right. yes. Okay, so why don't we stay facing this way? What you're saying is that a better idea is to point your shoulder or close your shoulder more to down the target, the target line. Okay. And we can fix that with the way you set up to the ball. Okay, so why don't you address the camera okay. as if that's the target and show me the proper So here's setup. the target. Now, I will say that most people always, when they're right, we're doing it right-handed now, when they come up, they set up with the right hand down. When I do that, you notice my left is open. Got it. So when I sit up here and I come, I'm thinking I'm going straight, but this is open. So what it prevents. So let me see your target. Now your shoulders are wide, wide open. Wide open. And okay. that is common. I mean, 99% right off the bat. So when they set up, first of all, when I'm open, it prevents getting a full turn. Got it. And then when I come through, because this is connected, it's going to come across and how we just explained. Okay. So the best alternative or the correct way would be what? Put what I have my students do and the players I work with, put the club in your left hand. Come on up to the ball, plant your right foot and stretch the left arm away to the ball. Now, if you notice, I'm now- Already closed. I'm closed. Square. I'm square, but it feel, it'll feel closed to most people because when you're always open, it, you know, the, the little bit of change in golf seems like it's so Drastic. big and it's not. Sure, sure. So, stretch the left away now don't just put the right hand over i've just defeated the purpose take your right hand swing it underneath so my shoulder remains there and now set the feet down so i just did my eyes over my hands are slightly in front and my shoulders going right down now i can take a full turn and then come back down from the inside and go down the target line this way where my shoulders are in this position where I extend 
instead of open at impact where the club comes this way that's how you always see chicken wings chicken and wings that. and the chicken wing and all that setup causes either big slices or just pulls or, left or or pulls left if you do hit it solid when you come down like this your weight's coming across so the ball is not going to go as far as it needs to be hit by the club because the club's coming across it instead of coming from the inside and through. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna take a setup the incorrect way and the way that you see most people do it. Absolutely. And and then I'm gonna do it the correct way. Okay. So you're saying they come in with their right hand, which is typical. They yes. set up here and now I feel like I'm square, but really I'm pointed into the driving range. Right, because this is gonna over dominate now. And, and now I put, put your my hands hand on the club. On. And I okay. get back here and then I pull it this way. Yes. And that can either cause a slice, a major slice, or if I shut the face on the way down, that thing's going a thousand yards left. Right. If someone has a very strong grip when they come down like that, it's going to shut the face and go dead left. Got if it. they have a weak grip, it's going to swing it across and the ball is going to go weak to the right. So without even thinking, the best way to do this is to hold the club in your left hand. Left hand. Come on up. Step up to the ball. Plant, this is key, plant your back foot. Plant back foot. Now stretch it. See what it just did to the shoulders? Close. You are now, yeah, you're close. You're, at, you're actually going down the target line. It feels close, especially if you've been opening up like this. Right there. Now put your right hand, swing it down under. So it keeps us going down. Very good. Now when you take your back swing, your shoulder's here now. Look at the back swing. I got a can. big turn. So you set it there. And now when you come down, we come from the inside. And the shoulder now is going square. Now, as the hands come through, because of that coming from the inside, now we're extending. That's perfect. Both arms are extending after, and then you swing it around, and you come nice and high. Okay, I'm going to go through the whole process, exactly what you said, and hit okay. a ball. I have the club in my left hand. I'm facing the target. I walk up, right foot back, plant it, set the club down. Hand goes underneath. Perfect, yes. Now you're set. Here. Now we keep it. Now make sure we come from the inside. Stretch it away. Come from the inside and hold your finish on balance. Here we go. See, now that is exactly dead straight. That's perfect. Dead straight. Perfect. Because all your fundamentals were here. And you can now see that when you set up with your shoulders open, every shot's going to come across it. And how do people try to fix it? They come this way, go there, they start thinking, what am I doing wrong on my backswing? Yeah. They think backswing, it's not the backswing, it's, the it's how your shoulders, so it allows, the way you set up determines how you're gonna swing. If my shoulders are square, when I come here, just like what Jimmy did right there, it was absolute solid because you extended right up and you're watching the ball go straight Got it. instead of coming around. So let's that just way. sum it all up one more time. Club in the left hand, which is the most important club in the left hand plant the right foot plant the right foot so it allows you to extend the shoulder right on the target line grip it with the right hand now stretch out now my shoulders are completely square to the target yes and I'm ready to go which allows you to come through an impact like this instead of like this, this. got it that's the that's the number one problem that I see all the time let alone with you know fixing the grip and all that but stuff. that little thing can just set you off. Set in the you right, right, right off direction. and set you, put you in a position where you can come right down on plane. And it just starts with holding the club in the left, in the hand, left hand and addressing the ball with the club in the right hand. And I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. that right hand comes from baseball. And I know I get up into a batter's box and I get right here and I'm open already. Right. And I think most people are because then they get here and they turn and this and the other. So I think baseball, you've always had an, a little bit of an open stance and your shoulders yes. are pointed to the shortstop when really you need to point your shoulders directly yeah. to the pitcher and and, stay there. And, and in baseball you're hitting a moving object sure so you're a you know you're adjusting that comes inside you're whipping it down sure. this way you plus anywhere. you get three strikes yeah to make it you go and you can hit it anywhere and be okay exactly you hit on the ground you get it high yeah. and, it, and it's a good but shot this one you need to be more but accurate. with golf the ball's not moving got it so with it not moving the way you set up determines how that ball and how your swing is going to come to create where that ball goes. Remember, set up with the club in your left hand. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Osborne here at Via Verde. Come see him. He has all these little hidden tricks that you may not ever have heard about, but will help you 
in the very long run. And, Greg? And please go to Patreon Golf in 60 Seconds. <laughs> Patreon Golf in 60 Seconds. Mr. Greg Osborne, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. You got it.